What's going on YouTube? Burlington Northern Nacho fan here and today we've got another building an Accurail kit video and this is the kit that I bought from the train museum and uh, it's the gondola the Chicago Great Western so we're gonna get this thing together and we're gonna put it on the track and then we'll uh, run around with some freight so let's uh, get this thing open here here's the body of it Chicago Great Western it's out of focus there we go it's pretty neat okay this is gonna be the floor I believe yep that's gonna be the floor the two ends of the gondola and a couple of these pieces here some more detail pieces here and then the trucks and in the bottom we have our weight right there and we have our instructions here's our read number decal order it's pretty cool actually in case you buy multiple and here's our instructions so Let's get started. I'm going to take our X-Acto knife here and we're going to start cutting all these little pieces out of here. I will come back when I have done that. All right, we've got all our pieces all laid out. Okay, look at our second step here. It tells us to install the car body ends. So we're going to do that. Just like, just like that, I believe. Get rid of that little piece there. It slips under the, uh, like that, I believe. Just like that. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Do the same on the other side. There we go. There's our car body ends. Next thing it wants us to do install the car weights. Okay, we're going to need our super glue. Probably be better with a little bit of hot glue, but I believe this is next. If I don't break it, there we go. Ah, I did do that wrong. The weight is supposed to go on the floor. Now the floor goes in. There we go. I'm going to cut these little ends off here.
Okay. The floor is supposed to just snap into place. Just like that. Perfect. There we go. All right. That's that. Next thing, add the brake gear to the bottom of the floor. Dang, this thing is detailed. So we're gonna go. Break detail to the bottom of the floor. It's gonna go, I believe. Like so. Let's see what I'm doing. Yep, there we go. Nope. Other way around. This way. Don't remember the uh, other the box car being this detailed, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. But. Get this guy in the hole. That'd be nice. Give me one second here. All right. So I have been installing these little details here and there. I actually started putting this part on. It's a lot of little details that I'm having to put on here. It's kind of tedious. So I've been kind of skipping through it. But we're on step six right now. Add the stirrup sets by pushing them gently into the pockets formed between the ends and the corners of the body. So, let's see here. Ah, I see. So, the stirrup steps go in here. So, if I go like... Like that. And they kind of just sit in there. And then we're going to glue them in just like that. So, I'm going to do that for all four corners. And then uh, we'll do keep going. All right. It is now telling us to put the trucks and couplers together. So again, it has plastic wheels, which I will eventually upgrade to something better. And the same thing with these couplers, which are really not the greatest. And uh, it does come with these hand the uh, the the metal pieces. I'm not going to worry about those because they are a pain to put on these couplers. And if I'm just replacing the couplers anyway, there's no reason for me to keep them. So, but for the time being, we will do this.
First thing we need to do is install the coupler. What one side like so. Nope. One side like so. And make sure we put these together the correct way. Okay, so you want them like that. And you take your screw, just like so, and you grab your screwdriver, which mine is missing. Let me go find my screwdriver. Actually, it's right over here. Take your screwdriver. The floor does not want to stay clipped in. I'm probably going to have to hot glue that, but there we go. Yeah, see? Floor does not want to stay in. I will probably have to hot glue that, but it also seems like we're, we we're missing a stirrup step, unfortunately. But we're just kind of Dealing with what we got here. There we go. Wheels are in. Do our other coupler here. Oh, come on now. Don't act up. I will cut back to when I get this all together down here. All right, here we have our gondola. Give me one second. Okay, here we have our Chicago Great Western gondola all together now. Somewhat a lot of bits and pieces to put together on this thing and it was a pain so but here we are let's get this thing on the track and we'll run it around and see how it looks all right there we go here we have it running around with our chicago great western f unit i think it looks pretty good take a little bit of a rail fan shot here I think that looks pretty decent. Minus the 
non-prototypical Burlington Northern cars and Burlington Northern Caboose, but <laughs> I think it still looks pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely going to have to get myself some tweezers, some nice tweezers that will allow me to get all these little nice details if I'm going to keep building kits like this. But anyway, that's it. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. There's a little more things I can probably do to it, but, you know, it is what it is. I think it runs pretty good for plastic wheels. It's it's running really great right now, and uh, I like it. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. But before you leave, if you guys are into cars and you like anything that has to do with cars, I made a second channel. It's called Jake's Garage. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on that channel, car-related, stuff like that. And the first video on that channel will explain what I'm going to do on that channel. So if you guys are interested in cars and you like my content, go check out that channel for me. You'll, I'm sure you'll love it. I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.